Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I'm getting to go for a ride today. No rain. Yesterday I took off for a ride. I only got about four tenths of a mile and it started raining, so I turned around and went home. Later I jumped on my trainer and put in an hour. So I at least got a workout. Just going for a little ride. I actually remember to put a little bit of sunscreen on my nose today. My nose is pretty messed up from being outside all the time. Uh, even before my 15 years of construction, I did. I was, you know, outside person. So. tree all right let's get some riding in So here I am at Lakewood School, the school I drive for. School will be in session Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, a third of the people each day. Why a third of the people? Well, the concept is have as few kids in school each day as they can so they can explain the new rules and regulations without trying to explain it to a completely full school of kids. So, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, a small group of kids each day get shown how things are going to be. Let's take a sit down. So we'll sit down for a minute here at the at the school. Take the gloves off. Chill out for a minute. Maybe have a discussion. Now I'm no uh, extremely uh, high talented person uh, with my YouTube channel and my videos. Um, I have very few subscribers considering I have way over 500 videos anyway uh, the discussion come up with one of my uh, Facebook friends uh, slash YouTube buddies um, 
he mentioned uh, uh, that he, you know, he struggles with his YouTube, and uh, he mentioned that he's never been sent anything in the mail by anyone, you know, from from uh, his YouTube videos. You know, maybe someone's seen the video and they were interested in him, and maybe thought, you know, send him something, or maybe he made a buddy. And maybe that buddy would send him something. He said he's never really, he's never had that happen. Well, I tried to explain that, you know, uh, you really have to put in the effort with your YouTube videos. And uh, there's different stages, okay? You know, I'm still not up there with the best of them as far as my quality goes. Um... You know, some of my videos I put a little bit more effort into than others, and some of them I do kind of quick. But I've always got uh, a decent thumbnail, decent at least. Uh, I have an opening to my video, I have a closing to my video, and uh, I try to put something in between that might be somewhat kind of interesting to some degree. Uh, and even if it's just a, a quick cycling video or something, you can still edit it to be okay, interesting. Keep them short. Keep those kind of videos short. And I have a problem with that. Just like I'm going to have a problem with this one. Uh, you need to have something that catches people's attention. And then you need to connect with those people in comments. Uh, which this guy does. He comments a lot. Um... He's just not, uh, he don't have, uh, he's not putting in the time to, you know, set a camera up. Like, I set a camera up and I'll talk in it. You're getting to know me, you're seeing my face, unfortunately. And we're connecting. Uh, the only time I don't do that very often is on my cycling videos. Where I'm cycling and I'm holding the camera here and here and over here and down here and around and everything's kind of crazy. But I still have my opening and my ending and I even have my catchphrases do you need a catchphrase don't know I have a catchphrase how's everybody doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking and get up get out get around and do it to it those are my catchphrases those are mine if you see me out on the street and you follow my videos you know you'd be like, hey that's that guy that's Mikey's and that's a guy that does those but I don't you know whatever you know you know me by something uh, you gotta have that that niche, that, that catch, that something that catches people's attention. And, you know, if you want to have people uh, graciously and kindly send you something, you have to really connect with that audience. Now, out of all the videos that I put out, different topics and different things that I do, uh, the people that have reached out to me are people that revolve around my food and my taste tests, stuff like that. Uh, Marie Sharps in Canada, they reached out to me uh, with just a comment and then I instantly got back to them. Why did they reach out? Because they commented on uh, a video I did uh, with one of their products, one of their hot sauces. And so I instantly got back with them. And then that made the connection. I've commented back to them. They've commented. We've emailed a couple of times. I've replied on some of their Facebook stuff and some other things. And we have a little relationship now. They've even offered to send me something else. But I declined because I, I told them I was appreciated what all they sent me. And I, I wanted to buy something and support their products. So the next thing I get, I'm going to buy. Um, and then uh, the next person that reached out to me is uh, one of my subscribers and I'm a subscriber to him uh, Superman Kev 2001 and speaking of <laughs> uh, he rides motorcycles and I got like three or four motorcycles going past on the highway there <laughs> um, he rides motorcycles but we connected uh, somehow and uh, we ended up uh, subscribing to one another's channels and I comment on all his videos, he comments on a lot of my videos, and we had a connection. And he sent me a package. And what did that package revolve around? Food. So uh, he wanted me to try a couple of things from Canada that, you know, I might not have tried before. 
so he sent me a little uh, gift box with some cool stuff in it from hats to lanyards and stickers and a postcard and some candy bars and some cookies and some uh, dipping mix stuff and just a couple of different things some chips and, and, and all kind of stuff so um, you have to connect with people somehow and it's odd that I'm giving uh, kind of a lecture on this because really I have a YouTube channel that's going nowhere I mean let's be honest I've been doing this now for a while and I still only have like 150 subscribers uh, very few views uh, very few comments um, so I'm not really uh, the so-called maybe role model you want to look to I don't know but I think it just I think it all it, it depends I guess I don't know I might have a small group of people and maybe only a couple of people watch here and there but we connect at least you know there's some connection uh, it, I don't know, but you have to have, you have to have an idea. You have to have something. Your video needs to hit something, and there needs to be kind of like a movie or in a book or TV show, whatever. You know, a, a beginning, middle, and an end to some kind of degree, with some sort of a topic that somebody can relate to. And, uh, and you need to connect, and you've got to have something catchy from your title uh, to the description to the thumbnail to your personality uh, to uh, presenting the video in such a way where your camera is still during these moments your camera is still you know uh, it's different when I'm riding a bike and I'm doing this and this and this and this and that and this you know those are different videos but whenever you're trying to present something like my everyday kitchen episodes where I'm cooking or I'm gonna do taste test you need to have it you need to have a set position and present not only what you're doing but yourself as well out of and let me touch on something else if I video uh, video game footage uh, I'm using a two camera setup and that takes time and effort one camera I've got focused on the TV and another camera I have focused on myself that takes time and that takes effort because this camera and this camera is not going to act the same so if I push record here and record here this one might instantly start recording and this one might take two seconds to record or three seconds so whenever you go into video production now you've got to figure out okay I want this to be the main video and then this one's going to be kind of a picture-in-picture -picture kind of video and now you got to get them lined up uh, on the timeline right so they start and stop at the correct time uh, and the same thing uh, I I played a game of darts just by myself. I threw some darts just for craps and giggles. And uh, I used a two camera setup on that. And you have to be precise on that because one camera's focused on me throwing the dart and the other camera was focused on the dartboard. So you got to have this dart leaving the exact same time to, you know, instantly you're going to see boom, a dart hit the dartboard. So you got to make sure everything's lined up perfectly and start stopping and uh, you know, your audio you know which camera you gonna use the audio from and it just it takes some planning and some time and uh, some videos I put more effort into than others but uh, anyway it's a long ramble um, I hope that I can learn more and get up there with the better guys and the better guys because there's always gonna be someone better like my videos might be a little better than this guy's but someone else's videos are going to be a little better than mine and someone else's are going to be better than theirs and so on and so forth that's just the way it is uh, we're not all on the same level it takes time it takes patience it really takes a lot of hard work to put in a really crazy fun interesting video because you can do all kind of stuff all kind of different edits and things and just popping in little video clips of this and that and to go along with what you're saying and to make things interesting and funny and what have you you know just different things so it's only what you want to put in and how you're going to connect with your audience and the subject you know so anyways guys I've taken a long enough rest I don't usually do this but uh, I just want to make a, a, a little conversation here and hope that we can all learn and help one another uh, as best we can 
and to share our visions and our dreams and our creativity with one another on YouTube, social media, whatever. Alright guys, I'm going to hop back on the bike, get back home, and continue my day. We'll see you on the road. Alright guys, bicycle ride done. Will you sit there? Yes you will. Alright. Uh, got in about 15 miles, something like that. I just, text, I just checked Strava and my map is all goofy. Strava and my phone do not play well together uh, so I'm gonna to touch on a uh, on that subject again about doing YouTube and uh, what can help and how to get people to notice and what people you want to notice and all that uh, what what would make me happy uh, of course the people that have noticed me so far and sent me something has to do with food well, what would make me super happy you know, people people might wonder uh, is if Raleigh, uh, the bicycle company Raleigh, if they would notice me. Uh, you know, I've promoted the Raleigh Redux now for four, over four years, and uh, and I've put the the Raleigh Redux in my title and my description and in tags and stuff like that several times and. I've done kind of a basic, extreme, basic overview of the bike and different things. And when I've done work on it and projects, you know, uh, new stuff, um, I wish that they would reach out to me. You know, a lot of people want, you know, they have their own things of what they wish, you know, maybe someone would reach out to them about. Uh, mine would be Raleigh. I would love for them, not necessarily to sponsor me or my channel or anything I don't guess but to notice my channel and maybe say hey Mike uh, here's this new road bike you know we know you ride the Raleigh Redux uh, so, but try this try this road bike because we can tell from the way you talk and maybe your other videos that we've seen maybe you're something that you're interested in road bikes you know turn down bars you know real road bikes and stuff uh, I would love for them to reach out to me and that would be my my one big, uh, 
I guess, uh, accomplishment uh, that I could say from my channel uh, would be if they were to reach out to me. And uh, they don't. And they haven't. And it could be because of the way I film my bike videos. You know, I, I talked earlier about on the way you film things. But uh, when I'm on my bicycle, you know, I'm all over the place with my camera. Like I've said, I'm over here, I'm over here, I'm down here, I'm around there, blah, blah, blah. You know, nothing, you know, it, it doesn't come off as a good production or a decent production or anything really. So maybe they don't see it as an opportunity or something like that. Who knows, you know? So you got to think about that in your videos. When you're doing a video composition... Uh, the steadiness of the camera, the way you have everything set up, uh, along with personality and, and, and everything. Just touching on what we touched on earlier. Um, you know, you have to really put yourself out there uh, if you want people to connect with you. So, go in here, get me a nice orange flavored Powerade and find something to snack on. Whew. Don't forget guys. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and don't give up the fight. If you want something bad enough, work and get it. And that goes for something as simple as YouTube. We'll see y'all later. Raleigh, hit me up. Raleigh! Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!